Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm the mysterious JG. I'm going to tell Ramu a story. And we will begin to begin. Choose beginning. Then cooperation. Then silence. And now I have to pick an ending. Uh, although Joseph's death is not reported to his daughter, the manner of his death speaks for itself. This is the story of a true hero or human. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failure to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. I think this is a better ending. Because this one just kind of ignores the daughter's feelings entirely on the matter. And this one is like... Kind of acknowledges that there was a failure that was part of the story. So, I don't know. Both of them are fine. But uh, I like the fact that Zidane and Vivi are just like kicking back. This is uh, Dagger's little story here. Uh, this whole getting an Eidolon is her thing. This is, uh, this is, remember, this is the last game before Final Fantasy X. We're building our way up to Yuna in her diaphanous robes, praying to the faith while Titus and the rest of the party just hang around outside patiently. Well, Titus not so patiently, and the other characters just telling him to shut the fuck up and wait. This is Zuna, Yuna's story. Not Zuna. Not Zuna. You choose human? I mean, you choose human. Let's recite your story. Once upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troop, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. I guess the snowfield is mentioned. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the adamantoids in the snowfield cavern and acquired the goddess spell they needed to enter the empire's castle. On their way home, the fae fell into a trap sent by a traitor. Set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nelly, about the tragedy. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, heroes are also human. Are you satisfied with your, cho your choices? And it says in the fact here that uh, that or the version ending with, you know, Although the daughter didn't find out the dad was still here. Those are both work. I guess it affects the dialogue. But I've been told that it's sad and pathetic that I need to hear all the dialogue. And in this case, I don't think I care. Ramu, not this established character that I really care about what he thinks about anything. Let me ask you one thing. How come you chose human for the conclusion? People pass down stories of other... Sorry. I like that voice, but now I have to give it to Beatrix. People pass down stories for, of other people to whom they feel an affinity. The people in the story had flaws, as we all do. That is why they become heroes in the people's mind. You should have put an apostrophe after the S in peoples. <laughs> because people. Oh no, no, people is a plural. <laughs> never mind. Oh, never mind. You had it right. Now, if you were talking about different peoples, like the Germanic peoples and the uh, <laughs> the Native American peoples, that would be different. JG is really focusing in on something that isn't that important right now. I want to know what you think in your own words. I just told you, bitch. Me? I am away from my country, but I haven't forgotten about my people. Your soul is very tense right now. Maybe because there's a weird floating old man staring at you. Maybe you begin to relax once I become your Eidolon. I doubt it. I'm pretty tightly wound. Thank you. There are many paths. Remember that you alone chose the path which you on which you walk. Received Paradox. Maybe now. Let's go to Lindblom. Hey, old man, you've, you've gone already? What's wrong? I wanted to ask why I made Dagger play such a silly game. Heroic? Human? Those are just things people say after the fact. What matters is what we pass down, not through our genes, but through our memes, stories, the things we tell people. Like, I'm not, like, writing. I don't need, I'm not writing. I don't need this. <laughs> I try to give meaning to what the main character of the story chose. 
Is this some kind of meta commentary? You know, you're the main story of a character of a, a character of a game. People, whatever. I think the old man would have become her idol on either way. That's the impression I got. I read the fact. <laughs> so then, baby, let's go. She's still a princess. She's used to people doing what. You're exactly right. It's not what people say afterward. What's important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Summon magic can be used for good or evil. She is still young, but there is room for growth. So I chose her as my master. Don't you mean mistress? Hey, don't make it kinky. I'll be watching over her. I hope you two will also protect her. Y yeah, of course. I'm glad we could talk to her summon creature <laughs> without her knowledge. I know everything my summon creature knows. I'm its master. <laughs> anyway, look, it's Lindelum Castle. I don't think we can turn back once we jump off. What do you want to do? Let's see, jump off now or jump off later? Well, I think this is a one-time only place. Uh... Strongly recommended to give the Peridot to Dagger. Her summons will become more and more important as the game progresses. Okay. You should, re you should return to Monty, who will have received a new letter. Oh, fuck! I was about to jump. Yeah, they they're messing with us. Yeah, we need to actually stay. The game was, uh... It's a tricksy little hobbit. False. Anyway. Thirty points to learn uh, Ramu styles, but she's leveling up with only a couple hundred more points. So, she actually—I shouldn't really be too concerned with min-maxing min her, because sadly, and I like Dagger as a character. I usually, unless they do a terrible job with them, I usually. Uh, like the fantasy heroines in these uh, JRPGs. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, Dagger apparently, like, late game, after everyone's leveled up, if that's what you want to do to fight super bosses, she's garbage. Like, there's another white mage coming who is just better at everything that matters. Like, Dagger will always be the main female character of the story. Uh, until the end, but like as far as actual stats as an in as an in battle character, she's like one of the worst characters uh, in the game. And I don't think it's by design. I think it's like I, I don't think there's a Japanese gamer designers like a misogynist here. It, it's just how it kind of came out. Kupo, this letter is tattered. It's from Stiltskin. Kupo, I'm scared. Read it with me. From Stiltskin, Amani. This might be the end of me. What's wrong, Koopa? What happened to Stoltzkin? Oh, Monty has quite a few letters. I want mail, Koopa. Once you have that letter, you are free to go. <laughs> I mean, I get... So the fact is just worded in a weird way. Like, I wasn't free to go without reading that letter. Because it doesn't... I don't see how that letter would change anything, uh, but I guess you don't have 100% if you don't get this letter. Not that we're going to get 100%, but... I guess it's kind of neat that we got to fight the... Uh... I don't wonder, do, do, do encounters, have they stopped? The encounters here stopped now that we uh, finished that puzzle. Because there wasn't a high encounter rate to begin with, but... Starting to feel like we can't encounter enemies anymore here. Oh well. 
We had a limited little uh, window to re-encounter Zagnols. We're going to jump off. Zidane. I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Dagger. Zidane. Look. Is that the red rose? Oh, is, this thing, is it going to nuke Lindblom? Uh, I think it's going to nuke Lindblom. You know, I don't remember that much about the story, but um, I think we might get back to Lindblom safely. She's not nice. Hello, we're here to kill you. I mean, we've always found these guys to be terrible. Like, it's easy for us to defeat, but... I guess we're the protagonists of the RPG. We're better than the typical guards of any of the kingdoms. Alright, well, it doesn't look like a big return to Lindblom is necessarily in the cards. Because I haven't read ahead to the next screen. For whatever reason, I read ahead to just see the bit that we were doing with Ramu. Those lights must be telepods. They're sending black pages directly inside the castle. And clear, they use summon magic afterwards. No, mother! Mother! We won't be these freaking out because it's black mages. Dagger! And he falls because it's funny. Otacon. Yeah, Vivi is kind of the Otacon to as an ancestor uh, snake. And there's his Meryl. Uh, okay, some kind of hell portal has appeared. I think we end up getting most of, not all of the Eidolons we see in story scenes, but then for us, they're just like, they're just like attack damage, uh, spells. They don't, they're not as cool as they are when they show up in the story. Because she appears to have something that's just like an all-consuming demon mouth. We may never get that one. I don't remember it anyway. I remember this game had a summon called Eden, which I never understood what the fuck it was. But you don't get it unless you do a bunch of extra crap and it takes like 20 minutes to summon. It's stupid. <laughs> Like, it's powerful, but it's like, it's one of those, like, if you've gone through everything you need in order to unlock it, you don't need it to beat the game kind of deals. Netflix temporarily shut down of my services, according to, I'm assuming that's a junk, junk mail I just got. It's so quiet. Oh, let me actually get to the next page of the fact. Uh... I don't think I care about any of the items, but there are uh, ATEs that I do want to see, because those are... Um... And they are warning me to get uh, some stuff here. Alright. It's so quiet. Mother! I can't believe you attacked Lindblom. Careful, they might still be around. Remember the last video I was chat prattle pr prattling away about how we should be going to Lindblom where uh, the Regent Sid can protect us? It appears that that was... Uh, I mean, it was something that you could have hoped, or that I had hoped, but uh, it doesn't turn out to have been correct. Vivi, you stay here and hide. You know, what the fuck? I'm a powerful... I'm a powerful black mage. No way. It's dangerous here. There are Alexandrian soldiers everywhere. You should stay out of their sight. Okay. How is that a plan? Don't fret. We'll be right back. I'm sorry, Vivi. I'm sorry that JG Cajun just makes me talk like a princess like I was for the first half of the game. Before Beatrix showed up. 
I mean, I'm sorry, Vivi. I don't know why he's suddenly saying you should stay behind when you're obviously like a party member and we would never have beaten that fucking snake boss without you. It's okay, just make it quick. Okay, so we get to... At least I know I can come out here and save the game if I want to. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? Please don't leave me here. The people of this country still don't understand. Regent Sid lost the war. Why don't they face the truth? Hey, lady, it's been like 30 seconds. Are you going to resist us? Yes, to the death. No, I wouldn't dream of it. That's good. Yes, leave everything to Queen Braun. Armed with the Black Mage Army and the Eidolons, Queen Braun is invincible. Resistance will only bring death. I'll say this time we say we will fight her. Oh, really? I admire your courage. Armed the Black Major Army? Okay, we still don't fight them. Finish it off. Finish it off. Should I crush its head? How about its chest? Stop it. He's a living creature. What did you say? Braun programmed them to kill, but they're still just like everybody else. Lies! They may look human, but that's where their similarity ends. They destroy everything, like wrecking balls destroy buildings. They don't even know we're made of flesh and blood. Well, I mean, admittedly, you guys have had a rough day. They don't even flinch, even when one of their own gets killed. They made monsters seem docile. I don't care if it lives. My friend was burned alive by it. Okay. Then just like ignore it and don't attack it, maybe. All the air camps in service got shot down by the black mages. It hurts me to even think about it. What did our customers ever do to them? Now I won't be able to provide the top notch customer service that we're known for, the air camp company. That's the real tragedy here. Still running an inn here. Yeah, he's still running the inn. No change for this guy. I know we got a, a Moogle up here, which may... I uh, always got to stop and see every Moogle, just in case there's uh, letters. I will give Mudan a letter. Well, that's a letter from the Flying Moogle Sereno. Thanks for delivering the letter, Koopo. From Sereno to Mudan. I rode an airship called the Red Rose, but I saw something horrible. Koopo. The Adolan Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. It's not even a trace of the city now. Bronze Red Rose destroyed Clara? Bronze is scary, Koopo. What do you want to do, Koopo? There's a letter for Zidane. Oh, what are you? Remember to Zidane. Oh, I'm having a terrible time finding actors. I'm willing to take anyone who can read at this point. Well, don't take Lethal Feline. He's, like, always... So it's like flipping words around when he... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was his name? That narcissist from Lindblom? I'd even take him. Get him over to my mini theater. We need to get some business. Does she mean Noel? He's a narcissist, all right, Koopo. You read fine, Lethal. I'm just teasing. I want you to deliver a letter to Moonty. Thanks, Koopo. Yeah, the number of times I had to go into this menu in order to get all the, all the Mognet shit. That's why, like, it's so easy to miss something with this. Is it, uh, it's not time to call it a video yet, is it? No, we got a little time left. Throw out a save anyway.
Because we can't, like, I wouldn't even want to stay at the end because we don't have Vivi in our party. Like, yeah, it's spending 100 gil. We have uh, 5,459,472 gil. Uh, so we'll be fine. Thanks to various goofy money tricks. And also, I guess some of that's money I made playing Chocobo Hot and Cold with the speed up. I'm not sure why we have that much gold, actually. But uh, I still, it bothers me. Spending 100 gil at the inn when we only have two of our three current party members because the story sent Vivi away? No. An airship fell out of the sky. It almost hit me. How oh, it's not Matron. It's not the Final Fantasy VIII character. Thank goodness it was only a small cargo ship. Rejoice, for you are now a part of the Alexandrian Empire. Oh, fantastic. I can't believe we wiped the city out in just one night. The Black Mage soldiers and Eidolons are not of this earth. It's as if we've opened Pandora's box. Yeah, even these like generic, uh, weird Third Reich ladies are starting to wonder about this. Huh? Someone there? Black Mage has blinded me. What a terrible loss. I can no longer talk about my enjoyment of pickles. I won't ever get to see my newborn grandchild's face again. Uh, yeah, about your newborn grandchild. I'm sorry. They, they got roasted. So they want to make sure we know that this is sad. Do you know a radical group called the Vigilantes? Oh, no. If you do, you must report it to me right away. Oh yes, I know them. If their leader is a man if their leader is a man named Justin, please tell him this. Please tell him to stop what he's doing. Tell him Nicole said so. Aww. Run into the, I think this path is uh, blocked now. I don't remember if we'd ever, Oh, we can't go in here. Okay. War is so primitive. Why couldn't they play a card game to settle their differences? It's not wrong. Card Collector 8 from Frabool Populations, or Publications. I don't know that I care about this. Oh, but there's two treasure chests here. Can't carry another Phoenix Pinion. Let's get your sorry ass out of here. Can't carry another Ether, so get your sorry ass out of here. There's a Lindbloom card somewhere around here. Hmm. Okay, the uh, the Lindbloom card is over here somewhere. So, yay. Alright, we'll go to the theater district, which I think is this way. The industrial district is gone, and the business and theater districts are also in ruins. Allocate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must also get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania, I mean, Uncle Artania, Princess Garnet, Master Zidane, glad to see you're both safe. Where is Uncle Sid? I, I, I can't keep remembering to do that damn voice. I just keep defaulting to a princess voice, which is fine. Also, I think I made this guy talk like a Grand Vizier before, but he's being, like, really nice now, so... Where is Uncle Sid? Is the Regent safe? I thought... Oh, she calls this guy Uncle Artania? Is he really her uncle, or is that a nickname? Like, is Artania, the, like, the brother of the king? That's some real nepotism, which is ironic in a royal family. <laughs> like, <laughs> even the minister is uh, related? Like, it's bad enough that you'd have, like, the king... And his brother would be like a duke or an earl or something. But even the civil, like even the ministers who aren't in the royal family are somehow related. Yes, princess, the castle was spared. Regent Seed is alive. Thank goodness. I will take you to see him. No, I think there's other stuff we got to do first. Oh shit! Princess Garnet is back. Uncle said, "No, actually, I do think I missed some stuff." I 
the theater district. Hold on. Wait a second here. Speak to the man near the fountain in the shop plaza. Yeah, I, I think I I think I messed up. I think I uh I think I've missed a bunch of stuff. Where the hell is it? Cause like there's also there's supposed to be eat eat uh Oh, for now just make your way north of the plaza at the shops. There'll be a scene during which you'll receive 3,000 gil. Once you're back in the business district, your goal is to prepare the party for your departure. Okay, never mind. So, like, we have to talk to the guy at the fountain later, and it seemed like that was ending this whole sequence, but apparently we, we do this, and, and then we still have uh, free roam in the city. Uh, it's just that the guy... I wasn't reading the guide closely. The guy does this scene and then goes and does some of the stuff I did during a later free roam bit, so... Alright, let's lock this out real quick and then call it a video. Uncle Sid, Princess Garnet's back. Garnet, I thought Broad had imprisoned you. <laughs> See, this sounds so different from the Broad boys. <laughs> Mostly because of the giggling. Zidane rescued me. I I'm assuming that when she talks to her uncle, she reverts to her normal speech and not her affected valley girl speaking. Thank you, Zidane. Quack. But Freya, Steiner, and Beatrix were left behind. I. Beatrix? Isn't she like an evil war criminal at this point? Oh, the renowned General Beatrix. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't think so either, Dagger. <laughs> she kicked our ass a lot of times. I don't think she should, we should really be that worried that she got defeated by random mobs. We wound up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Treno, but... They'll be fine on their own. Walk, walk, Pinnacle... Uh, did you ride the Gargant? Ooh. How did you know? It's my job to know the land surrounding my country. However, I sometimes lack foresight. Braun is after the Idolons, that much I know. But I underestimated the power of the Idolons. See, like, if I was doing Queen Braun and Regent Sid in the same scene, you'd have more opportunities to, to see how the voices are different. But my mind would explode trying to actually get it straight each time. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. This body no woman can resist. I'm glad you surrendered. Clara resisted and perished. What should I say? What can I do? Hey, we got a live one here. Watch out, it might attack! Hey, this one's much smaller than the others. Ouch, let me go. Ouch, let me go. I'm not one of them. Because this is baby. <gasps> then why are you dressed like a black maid? <gasps> that must be. No. It can't be. It's Big Boss. <laughs> Don't you know this guy won the Festival of the Hunt? Except that I was actually free in this reality. We took an Alexandrian soldier into custody, even though we've already surrendered to them. <laughs> what the fuck? I just said, should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uh, Uncle Sid. Let him go. Master Vivi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to deceive the enemy. I, I, I see. My apologies. That's... You know, this is time to say, I remember years and years and years ago, an online acquaintance that I've lost touch with uh, a long time ago. Uh, back in the days of like AOL Instant Messenger, Final Fantasy IX was fairly new. And uh, I was jokingly said something about, you know, don't look into Vivi's face or you'll be, you know, sucked into the abyss because his face is completely black. He's a callback to the old Final Fantasy I Black Mages. 
And this person responded, no spoilers, please, because they thought I seriously was saying there's some storyline of Final Fantasy IX we're looking into PB's face will suck you into an abyss. I've acquired more information about Queen Braun, Quark. A weapons dealer named Kuja is behind the recent string of attacks. Kuja has been supplying Braun with highly advanced magic weapons. Supplying my mother with weapons? I thought he was just a creeper who put me under him. He was probably going to, like, date rape me before uh, my mom intervened. <laughs> yes, the Black Mage soldiers are amongst these weapons. Amongst our weaponry, ah. According to eyewitnesses in Trenu, Kuja appeared from the northeastern sky on a silver dragon. Wait, what? That's the guy I saw in Brumacea. The guy, the guy whose voice is strangely compelling to me. That he came from the north suggests that he is from the outer continent. The outer continent? That's what I said. There are many unexplored continents in the world. I thought you were educated. Didn't, didn't you have, like, a, a giant globe in the castle that Professor taught? Well, never mind. The outer continent is an unexplored continent located to the north of our missed continent. We'll need to get an airship before the game is over. I believe Kucha is the only one with supplying Quark and Braun with weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kucha. He must be the one who is corrupting my mother. If we defeat Kuja, if we eliminate Kuja... You both catch on quickly. What's wrong with you, Vivi? And he slaps Vivi in the back of the head. <laughs> he calls him Proby. Defeat Kuja and Braun loses a weapon supply. That will be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Braun now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the evil. Yes, Kuja will find other I said, yes, Kuja will find other clients even if we defeat Braun. I don't know that that's it, like stopping the weapon dealers. Well, I make no excuses for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. Yeah, you switch back to the California voice. You never said shan't there. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. Oh, suddenly it's Steiner she cares about. She, like, forgot to even mention him. Some, like, she was, he was always the last one she mentioned. I'm afraid I can't spare any soldiers. They must remain to protect our citizens. No one asked. We know where the player characters. Hey, Decker, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. I don't like Beatrix. I don't like Steiner. And I really don't like Freya that much, if I'm being honest. <laughs> the best Dragon Knight of Burmacia, the female general of Alexandria, and Rusty. How could they lose? Hey, it's my partner, Rusty. Uh-uh. Besides, you have me to protect you. And me, eh. Then I'll look for Kuja. I want to go, too. I really don't have anything else to do, and everyone here thinks I'm some kind of war criminal. <laughs> There's no place for me here. Maybe he's making the same point, just not being as melodramatic about it. All right, let's go kick Kuja's butt. Will you lend us the fastest airship in Lindblom? <laughs> what? No! Airships can only fly where there is mist, and the mist only exists on this continent, Quark. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship that can fly without mist? It's not ready yet, Quark. Besides, it's under Braun's control. Braun gave us two conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was the head of a hawk and the falcon claw. Mantis and the falcon claw. The airship, I can understand, but what does she want with a piece of stone? I have no idea. All right, we'll take the boat. A boat. That's not an option either. The harbor was also seized. Ah, what do you want us to do? Swim? I've managed to avoid drowning. Snake, here are the controls for underwater. But there is a way. I'm now turning into a uh, Christopher Walken. That's an old extraction site near a swamp located north of the castle. Moss is not native to- Yes, I'm just doing the, the bog standard shitty Christopher Walken accent now. Uh, Moss is not native to a continent, a rumor to appear in the excavation site. 
The cave, which was found during excavation, is rumored to lead to another continent. Will this cave lead us to the outer continent? I just told you I don't know and that it's rumors. Doesn't sound too reliable. Are you sure? Walk? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Not knowing is half the fun, huh? And not knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Please protect Princess God and we'll prepare the counterattack in the meantime. It's not much, but use it to prepare for your journey. He gives you one potion. Oh, three thousand gold. Okay. Uh, oh wait, here's it in. Will you get my stuff too? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Listen, Alexandria is Lindblom is Alexandrian territory now. You won't be able to come back here for a while. Prepare yourself well. Let me know when you're ready. All right, so this is where we. Uh, Ooh, active time event. The third jewel. And now we're going to go over, aren't we? Yeah, we're already over. Ah, boy. They started loading the supplies. Ah, it took long enough, didn't it? Yes, the Lindblom soldiers won't obey our orders. We must finish up before Queen Brown becomes upset. Send all available personnel to the harbor and assist in supplying the fleet. Stay here is pointless now that we have Falcon Claw. Yes, ma'am. Javol. Alright, well, I will come back and... Oddly enough, I don't want an ATE to pop up here. I just want to get to where I can save. Talk to other folks later. Nothing changed with you as far as Magnet goes, did it? Nope, good. Alrighty. We are going to save, Koopo. And call it a uh, session, as a matter of fact. For those watching these as they go up. Um... And when we come back next time, we will be prepping for a journey to a new continent. And I really don't remember when we get reunited with our other friends. Because this game in particular seems to be intent on always having two separated groups of heroes. Um, that you bounce back and forth between without really necessarily knowing when you're going to get back to the previous one. Thanks for watching, guys.